This is Dana from Zero to Income. We're going to take a look now at how do you import how do you import a directory listing into Brilliant Directories from Google, from Google Directories, any data that would have been listed in Google's directory service. So let's take a look into this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to log into the back end. This is the front end, front front end of the website. Uh, and we've got listings here. If we go to search now, um, we can type in various things or restoration or whatever, and it's going to narrow it down. So we've got some listings here in the system. And what I want to do is I want to add another one to the list, but I don't want to go through that laborious task like I had to last time with putting it into e-directory. Every little column, every little piece of data, I still didn't have logos. There was so much work left to do. Does brilliant directories make it any easier? And I will have to say they do. Let me log in and I will demonstrate to you how this works with brilliant directories. So I'm going to go simply to members, business data. And let's search for log home builder. I'm going to leave this bottom one un unchecked. So they don't necessarily have to have updated in, in the last 30 days. A lot of people don't update their director listing on Google's uh, business, what's it called? Google business listing. I don't update that necessarily every 30 days. So I'm gonna leave that unchecked because I want to be able to get as many as I can. Um, and let's search for records. That's all I'm doing. Log home builder United States. Well, we could actually, let's do this. Let's do main USA. Search records. So the maximum I can pull in is 12 because that's, the, that's all the credits I have. But let's just do one of these. Oh, actually, it only had four records found. So that's okay. Let's just do one. I'm going to say that they're going to be a free plan member. I'm going to set them as active. I'm not going to do anything with tags. Uh, I am going to say log home contractors. And that's it. I'm going to hit import records. Yes, one record. View. And just does take a little longer when you have a lot, but let's view it and see what we got. Look at this. Northeastern log homes. They're now on the site. And look at this view profile. That looks fantastic. Uh, now, let's compare now with what I did with eDirectory. So I'm going to open up a new tab here. I'm going to go to main vacations. And I added hiking locations. So let's do hiking area. Let's look at that category. And let's look at one of these listings for hiking areas. Let's do hiking area. Oh. I don't know what happened. Hiking area. Let's just click on this one. Look how empty this is. It did not pull over any graphics. It did not give me any write up. I can do that in the background. I can even do it in AI in eDirectory. Can click a button and have it write something up for me. But this is how it looks. Now, yes, I could have had more things on this page, but when you compare, look at all of this stuff, it auto-populated for Northeastern Log Homes. It's, it's just an incredible difference. I've already got their contact form here. I can automatically send them a message. They'd have to pay for the lead, of course, because they're, they're on the free plan. But um, it's, it's just, it's got the information here that needs to be here. Uh, let's see if the website works. Yes, look at that. So that is the stark difference between doing an import with eDirectory and doing an import in Brilliant Directories. 
because the workflow for eDirectory was I went out to Outscraper, I got the data, then I took the data, I put it in Excel, I had to clean up all the columns, put it into um, eDirectory, export it as a, uh, into an eDirectory Excel file, export it as a CSV, went into eDirectory, imported the file. Oops, there were some things that weren't quite right. Had to go fix them in the original file, fixed them in the file, re-imported. Finally, I was able to do the import. Here, I'm literally able to go to business data, this tool here, and import here. Now, what does this luxury cost you? Because this is excellent programming from the Brilliant Directories team. Absolutely excellent. Now, this costs you 250 bucks per thousand of uh, records that you want to import. But you can still do it the old fashioned way. If you go to your member page, um, and if you go to import, I'm sorry, I'm on the wrong one. If you go to import members, you can still do it the way that I demonstrated. Of course, the template's gonna look a little different, but you could still do it the way that I demonstrated. You're not gonna get the logo and all the other fancy stuff that it automatically did for us in the background, but it does work. Um, so this is why I love Brilliant Directory's import tool, the business data tool, pulling it straight from the Googs. It just, it works awesome. All right, that's it. Now, remember, if you use our affiliate link, I am an affiliate for Brilliant Directories. If you use our affiliate link from Zero to Income, you're gonna get 30% off. It's tinyurl.com slash getbrilliant, and you can use Zero to Income in all caps. Just look in the description, the link is there and the code is there and you'll get 30% off of Brilliant Directories. Um, you can also get a discount or a, a, a little credit on a Outscraper account. If you want to do some manual scraping using Outscraper, then you can do that. We're a Outscraper affiliate as well. All right, that's it for now. Hope you all have a great week.